happy. <laughs> I probably shouldn't sing. I'm not very good at it. Happy New Year. What is that? <clears throat> happy New Year. I just want to talk about New Year's resolutions because why not try to be relatable? I never really understood New Year's resolutions. Like it was something teachers made us do in elementary school. Like what are your top three resolutions for the year just as some busy work activity? But as we progress and get older, it just feels like something that we see on Facebook so people can draw attention to how they're going to improve themselves and then promptly forget about it two weeks after the year starts. If you are someone who makes New Year's resolutions and stands by them and doesn't just make up outlandish things so that you can brag to your Facebook friends or whatever, then good for you. I never look down on people who want to improve themselves, but if it's something that you feel like you have to do just because it's the social construct and everyone's talking about it, don't do it. But don't think you have to wait until the next calendar year to start improving yourself. If there's a way you can improve who you are and you want to do it, then start doing it right then. You don't have to wait until January 1st to stop eating potato chips infused with bacon fat. And if you're going to stop eating those potato chips, you don't have to tell everyone on Facebook. I feel like Facebook and other social media is this platform to say, hey, look what I'm doing, and everyone's guilty of that. But when you say, hey, look what I'm doing, I'm going to start exercising 18 times a week. And then people like your status and comment on it, and they're going to come back and say, hey, how's that 18 times a week workout going for you? And when you inevitably fail, you're going to have to let everyone know. So if you don't tell anyone in the first place, you have no one that's going to be, you know, saddened by the fact that you couldn't pull through on that astronomically impossible New Year's resolution. We've gotten into this habit with social media where we feel like we have to say everything that's happening to us. But if you want to go to the gym, then walk yourself over and go to the gym. You don't have to announce it to everyone. And if you want to read 50 books in a year, then start reading the 50 books. By the time you compose that tweet, you could have read a page. All frustration aside, if you're gonna have a New Year's resolution, good for you, but just try to stick to it and don't feel like you have to have one just because that's what the media and society is telling you you need to do. I don't have any New Year's resolutions myself, I'm just gonna keep doing the things that I know are good for me. After watching my social life go down the drain in 2015, I am going to be focusing on friends next year, but that's not just a year goal, it's gonna be a life goal. I hope everyone has a great New Year's and good luck with your outlandish resolutions. Oh, I was so cynical. Just start right after you think, you know what, I should probably stop eating so many potato chips covered in grease. They're already covered in grease. Oh.